Now we have ten questions to ask you. Okay. The first one is what is your guilty pleasure? Or the band's guilty pleasure, but it's hard to no, say guilty yeah. pleasure for the band. But maybe you all really love to get together and watch some really yeah. bad movie. For me, it's eat. I mean it's yeah it's sugar. It's one hundred percent sweet things. I am allergic to sugar. I get I get sinus issues. So then sugar. why do you keep eating it? Well, I'm actually about to go on this <laughs> crazy program to try and like curb my addiction to it. Um, I'm yeah. I'll let you know how that goes. It's a two month long thing, and it's going to be quite full on. But I started in April, so we'll see. Well, good luck. Thank you. I need it. Ah, um, but yeah, definitely sugar. all sugary things. What's your favorite sugary thing? We, I shouldn't encourage you on this. Let's go no, to the next question. Let's go to the next question. Okay. <laughs> if you could perform with any artist in the whole world, yes. who would it be? Oh man, that you can't just give us one option. Okay, fine. Give me like I'll give Ten. you three. <laughs> three. Three is your maximum. Um. Do they have to be alive? No. No. Um, I, I would love to, I'd love to just spend an afternoon with Darcy Springfield as a vocalist. Mm -hmm. She's like my ultimate, just so effortless and amazing. Her voice is just like, mm -hmm. it's like chocolate. It's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think Ben would probably say um, Crude and Dorfmeister or the Nobo or something like that, I guess. <laughs> the electronic artists, you know, that yeah. are doing interesting things, electronic music. I also, Oh, they are, they are, the list has Seven. to be, it, okay. it's so long. I, 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 I'd, love to, I'd love to do a song with John Legend. I just love his voice as well. Oh, I, could, I could continue. I could sit here for half the day. No, you've just, already said you're three. Okay. okay. <laughs> <Enough>. <laughs> Who is Come the on. untidiest member of the band? Me. Really? Absolutely. I don't believe that. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. I am. I'm very, very messy. I'm just, I, I've, my head is in a million places at once. Mm -hmm. I'm very ADD. Yeah, even if you have, I mean, it's amazing that we're having a train of thought right now. Maybe you don't feel we have been, but no, know, no, we're I actually, feel we have. We been. actually be talking along the path. Normally, <laughs> I'm like here, yeah, there, everywhere. I just that's just how I work, and as a result, my room kind of looks the same. Does it upset anyone in the band? All of both, everyone, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> they can't handle it. I'm always in trouble. <laughs> but um, but it's cool. Uh, they, I, I guess they're learning to accept it. I, I'm trying to be tidier all the time. Well, at least you're trying. Organized. I am. I, you have to mm -hmm. try and improve your weaknesses. Yes, in life. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. What has been the most embarrassing moment for the band on tour? Look at the cameras. <laughs> Oh my word, that is that is a that's an interesting question. Um, the most embarrassing moment for the band on tour. Oh, they, they, that's oh, gotta get into the history books there a little bit. Um, <laughs> embarrassing. Can you think of anything? Embarrassing. Nothing embarrassing happens to you guys. No, there are things. There are tons of things. I just might, you know, I've got brain fog right Has now. Has anyone fallen off stage? Oh yeah, actually, yeah. actually, that that is, that is that's happened to me. You um, fell off stage. Yeah, uh, I I ran onto a show at Trinity once, and I there was dry ice on the floor, and um, which is you know they they pump like a like a like a like a fog onto mm -hmm. the floor, and it's, it creates this mysterious floor. <laughs> it looks <laughs> all foggy, and um, I ran on not knowing that it leaves a residue on the on the, on the stage, mm -hmm. and I just bolted on in heels. And I just went whoop, bah, on my coccyx, Yay. like I heard this crack, and I was like, oh my gosh. But I had to carry on singing, and it was a really painful gig. <laughs> but I, I was a bit of a trooper, I carried on the whole show, oh carried on playing, God. but afterwards I realized I'd, I'd actually done something quite damaging. But it's fine now, it just was. Um, what happened to it? Did you go to the doctor? It kind of cracked, yeah. Cracked a little bit, it fractured, yeah. But um, ah, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, it was okay. I lived, you know. Yeah. And you just got up and continued on. Yeah. Yeah. Performing. But it wasn't that embarrassing because mm. I just went like, ooh, and everyone looked at me. And I'm sure we've had more embarrassing things happen, but that's just the one I can think of right now. It's yeah. a pretty good one. Okay. <laughs> what song do you secretly love but are embarrassed to admit it? I love, I'm an albatross, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love that song. I, I wish I'd written that song. I also love that song, but who sings it? Um, let me, uh, I, I don't know, know it doesn't matter. We both it's it's like a DJ featuring somebody French okay. or Swiss, mm -hmm. featuring a Swiss girl. I know that much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what advice do you wish you received before you became a professional musician? Is there anything that you wish someone would have told you? In the beginning, mm. 
get a manager. <laughs> no, no. Um, we've, <laughs> we've done everything ourselves, you know, mm -hmm. and um, I think as a result, like, we've become really, uh, which is, it, it's been a good thing because we've learned a lot through the process, but mm -hmm. it's been, uh, up to this point, it's been kind of 20% creative, 80% yeah. the rest. And um, I and only now at this point in our career we're we getting somebody to help us with the rest, and mm. so we can focus more on the creative side. Doesn't so it feel so much better? It does, but it's um, it's very difficult. You know, people, it, it's people. Being independent is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. And you've got to find the right person to work with you. But as a creative, rather spend your time making that song because, you know, if if you don't, if you don't have the songs. Yeah you don't have anything else. And you, all you need is a hit song and the rest will just happen. You know, so um, you can push and work and work and work and, we, and you know, we've done pretty well with what we've had up to this point. But I just think, imagine if I'd spent all that time just working on the music, what would yeah. we have, what would we have? Yeah. You know, like from a musical perspective. So, yeah, I mean, I don't regret it. Don't get me wrong, don't regret it. Just wish I'd found that person earlier on in, in our career, but we, we found it now, so it's all good. Good. What's the strangest thing a fan has ever done? Oh, I hope he doesn't watch this. Well, if it was a strange thing, then... It's lovely, it's not strange, it's lovely. We have a wonderful fan, he's mm. a really enthusiastic fan, and he, um, he writes this beautiful poetry, <laughs> and um, some people might be creeped out by it, but I love it. He comes to the front of the stage with like poems written on a board. <laughs> Really? Yeah, for us, and we read them. And That's great! Yeah, it's awesome, I know. How often has he done this? Um, pretty much every gig. Every gig? Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, some people be like, that's creepy, but I mean, we just we No, just fans, love I'm, no. I'm sure there are fans it's out there. Who, it's love. Yeah, it's like... He actually yeah. took the time to write a poem mm. onto a board. Yep. And brings it to your mm. concerts. That's amazing. We are very blessed to have him in our, in our life. I hope he's there on Saturday. He, he doesn't live in Cape Town, but oh, okay. um, maybe you never know. <laughs> maybe he will be there. You never know, exactly. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> okay, one last time, remind us when you are playing at Kirsten Bosch and how everyone can find you online. Kirsten Bosch is Saturday, 21st of March, and um, we'd love to see everybody there in support of, of the gardens because obviously the, all the proceeds are going to charity for the Chelsea Flower Fund. Uh, so if you love nature, you should be there. Um, come join us, we're singing to the firefighters, we're gonna have choirs there, it's gonna be crazy. And apparently it's gonna be 27 degrees. It's beautiful. Well, so that's good. Uh, and if you wanna find out more info, you can check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash goodlucklive, or website www.goodlucklive.com, and all the links and Twitter and everything are on there, so yeah, that's us.